winter months. I got a small Tonskin cone, uh, size 10, uh, 3x long stream hook, and a few wraps of lead wire behind that uh, to secure it in. This fly can be for panfish or trout. Wind the thread to the back and take some black marabou, about as long as the shank of the hook. I like a little longer. And uh, tie with two wraps and spiral up forward, creating a smooth body. And I was keeping the tension with this hand while I uh, did loose wraps over it. Trim it off just behind the lead wire. Come back with your thread. Take some pearl crystal flash. I have three strands here. Tie it on your near side first. Bring it over, tie it in on your far side. Clip it off so it's even. Here, I'll get this in the shot. <coughs> okay, I'll uh, copper wire. This is a small copper wire. It's going to be a ribbon, saddle hackle and black. You can variate these colors to create uh, a sculpin like imitation. Probably a dark brown would great for that. Just tie this down real good. <coughs> I have my own dubbin. This is a mixture of arctic fox and a raccoon with a little pearl crystal flash in it. Just for a little sparkle. Um, I'm just going to dub that up on here. You're going to want a fairly uh, thick dubbing. Because uh, you're going to brush it out with some Velcro. And you only want to dub up to about a cone's length behind the cone so you can tie in your rubber legs. Um, Okay, so that's about good. Uh, I'm going to take my rubber legs. These are about an inch long black rubber. Time in the middle. Two wraps. Hold them tight. Wind up towards the head of the fly or the cone <clears throat> and tie them in like that I tilt the vise towards me I mean, you guys can't really see this but uh... <clears throat> oh well Okay, you're going to get those legs to um, pressure back with your dubbing. Um, 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 but what we're going to do is after we dub, we're just going to, I have to get some more dubbing here, we're going to spiral the copper wire. And this, this fly has a... Uh, Looks like a woolly bugger, uh, sort of. And uh, fish is just like one too, but has a little more attraction power. Um, and with this last coat of dubbing, you you want to build up a slight taper is what you want to do. Um, you want to 
gonna try to taper your dubbin just with uh, this fox hair and this fox or raccoon actually dubs fairly nicely okay so you dub up you can see a slight taper I built there you can grab your copper wire Just gonna rib it up. This is to hold the dubbing in. Uh, also adds a little segmentation. And you see when you dub, it pushed these rubber legs back, so that's good. And you're just gonna wanna pull out your copper wire. Before you wind your hackle, take some velcro. Tease that uh, dubbing out just a little. <clears throat> okay, now I like to throw in a half hitch. Okay, so we got our hackle right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to st strip off half the barbules. Um, we only want to go up about an inch or so as you can see here uh, just wind it and you want the hackle pointing back you just want to weave around those rubber legs shouldn't be too hard um, strip off a little more of that hackle when we get up towards the cone we want all the hackle we can get to provide a good taper so that's why we're just stripping the hackles off as we go. Um, strip some more off. Just weave around those uh, rubber legs. Okay, pull the rubber legs back and all the hackle. You're just gonna uh, pull these hackle um, to one side. All the, just pull all the barbules off to one side. Um, provide a very thick hackle. Just do two to three turns of that. Just come in there behind that cone with your thread. Just tie it off. A few more wraps. And you want to tilt the fly towards you. You can see where I am right now. Boom. Slip your scissors down there. Trim it off. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, my already whip finish, and uh, <clears throat> I'll show you a neat way to do this. I'm gonna tilt the fly just a little. Take some head cement. I'm using uh, hard as hull. You could use super glue. Apply it on the thread. You're going to finish. Tie it off. Come off your thread. And if you need to, you can trim your rubber legs. But mine are pretty good. Uh, pretty good symmetry right there. And uh, you're just going to brush these hackles. Just a little Velcro. And there you go. You have the panfish leech or the trout leech. Also looks like a great sculpt. Thanks for joining me and please comment.